All right, after a few hours of rest, this is Sunday, my day off again. I have taken the, I placed the switch on the bilge pump, replaced it, and that didn't work. And we have a clogged pump. I'm gonna try to get the camera down here and show you inside the housing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it just gunked up something rough. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to try to clean this and uh, test it again if it'll run. Uh, we'll make and reuse it. If not, I'll just have to take the whole thing out and put the new one in, the spare one. I think this is a little bit bigger volume pump than what I have, but. We'll see if it works. Let's get it cleaned up and we'll see. All right, it comes on and runs very, very slowly. And after I cleaned it up right there, it is cracked. So obviously water or something has got in there. And it's very, very tight. So this one is gonna be bad. So, let me get the bottom housing of it out, and we'll get the other one out, and see what we can do. It's really tight getting in there, so I'm not going to be able to show you, and it's really dark without my little flashlight. We'll see. We'll get it. Alright, there we go. Now I have made a command executive decision because I am the boss around here <laughs> the only way to get the base out off of the plate where it's mounted for the old uh, bilge pump it's riveted down the only way to get it out is to just destroy the entire thing bust it out of there and then try to get the new one mounted down on there and I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't know how much these are. There'll be a lot. But if you can buy this, you can buy this unit right here and just put it back in and twist it and you're hooked back up. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. For right now, that is a Johnson pump. And the one I've got is only a 300 gallon. Per minute this is a 500 which is this would be the better pump so uh for the time being we just won't have one yep, i don't think it'll hurt for a little bit till i get another one so that's what i'm gonna do i'm going to wait till after first of the month or until i sell some knives and uh we'll just get a new one and be done with it do it the right way and that'll be that so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and hook the uh, the live well pump back up because I had to unhook it to get to this one. So I think that'll be the, the way to go. So that's what we're going to do. Get this all back together. Next up, I'm going to start rigging it out. I got to get my old, well, my good, my new side scan fish finder that's on the old boat. I got to take all that off. I'm going to put it over here on this one. And we'll see that over the next few days. May not be able to do it all today, but we'll see. It is the wee hours of the morning. I have uh, some knife handles glued up. Been some big uh, developments around here the last couple of days. Uh, first thing, I have rested the old hands. That one's in pretty good shape. Taking my medicine like I'm supposed to. A little bit of swelling still, but it's uh, everything works. 
Now uh, this one was in really bad shape as far as the drawing up and all, but uh, the rest of it didn't do a whole lot. The the last clip you saw was of the uh, trying to get the bilge pump fixed. I decided not to put my spare in. I went ahead and ordered a another one, a uh, insert. The OEM original pump and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was I saw them for way expensive and but I found the same thing for uh, less than $30 so might as well uh, just do it right a couple other things that have happened and uh, we'll talk more about it in a day or two but um I made a decision on the old boat on the Wallace 4 or 5 and uh, I have decided to let it go to a new home so it is sold uh, it will get picked up and out of here in the next day or two did a little bit of trading and horse trading and made a good deal with a good friend of mine and uh, he's going to take it and it's going to live at his place so because <laughs> I know good and well it's going to sit out here in the yard I'm not going to use it and uh, it's just going to sit there and rot and I would rather somebody have it and use it which he will now mama was on the phone with the VA yesterday morning for about an hour I can't talk to them because I will get frustrated and I'll start yelling at them I've never had any problem whatsoever with my doctor appointments and all that uh, until the last probably eight or nine months they cancel my appointments and cancel my appointments and we finally got a hold of somebody and they said that the system is messed up and the scheduling and all this kind of stuff. So I'm behind on my follow-up for the urology for my prostrate thing, which I think it's going to be okay, but uh, they cancel those appointments. So and, uh, they said, well, lab work tomorrow, this morning, actually. But well, actually, at 12 o'clock today, in the middle of the day, which is going to goof up my whole day. It's got to drive all the way over there. Then I have to be back on Friday to uh, see the doctor to get the blood, you know, blood work results. So, today is going to be goofed up. Friday's going to be goofed up. But uh, I'm trying to get these knives done. And I'll get them done just as absolute soon as I can and get them sent out. But uh, just life. That's what life, you know, life happens. Things come up and you gotta do what, what you gotta do what you gotta do. So. I'll be uh, at the doctor today and Friday. In the meantime, I'll get everything else done that I got to do. And boy, howdy, I'm glad I don't have a job because if I did, I would not be able to do anything. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd throw something out right quick this morning and, uh, let everybody know what's going on. And got a, a couple of things coming in the mail. I'll tell y'all what, my YouTube family, friends, family, I consider all y'all my family, uh, are so good to me. And I've got a couple of cool things coming in the mail. And I'll show y'all those in a couple of days. 
when they get here and two people waiting on knives another one over there uh, I'll get them done just as absolute fast as I can uh, Stomper there's yours they'll be on the way to you here hopefully by the end of the week and with that I'll just say thank y'all very much for your support thank you for watching and I will see y'all uh, tomorrow the next day Monday thank you for watching <laughs>